Joe, DJ Mojo. Today is April 22nd, 2022. I am here in DC. I just flew in here from LAX and since I just landed here, I haven't eaten for a long time. I want to stop by here, grab some food, and then I'm going to head out to Leesburg to check into my hotel because tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow I'll be DJing for Jay and Mary. I'm excited to take you guys a little bit behind the scenes of what it's like to travel as a DJ to another city. As you already know, I'm based down here in Southern California and I had the special opportunity to DJ a wedding down here in Virginia, thanks to my friend. She's the one who referred me to the client. Just walking around, it's a beautiful day out here, awesome vibe. So this is my day where I get to just really enjoy and just really uh, take my time here to prepare for tomorrow's wedding. All right guys, I'm time to head back into my car and then I'll catch you guys later. Hey, what's going on? We are here about to get some food. I'm gonna have Darren introduce himself for you guys. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Darren. I'm here in Maryland. I met Joe uh, a couple years ago at DJ Expo up in uh, New Jersey. And we just kept in contact and uh, he has a, a wedding that he's doing uh, tomorrow. I'm providing all the equipment, setting it up for him. I'm gonna help him out while he's doing his thing. Looking forward to it. Awesome, so right now we're gonna get some food, just catch up and just getting ready for the big day. And we're gonna have some fun. Here, follow me, let's go. Hey, what's up? Good morning. It is April 23rd, 2022. Today is a big day. I'll be DJing for Jay and Mary. So I'm about to head out and meet up with Darren at the venue. He's setting up everything for me, but I want to give you a few moments right now and just to share with you what I actually packed in my bags in preparation for this event. I can't bring all my gear with me, so that's why Darren's helping me out. But I did bring some of the essentials, such as my laptop, my music, and some extra gear. So let me show you what I have right now. So this is what I have going on. This is my carry-on that I brought with me. I brought my Pioneer DDJ SB3, and I bought the deck saver case, which protects the controller. I bought another case for this, but it wouldn't fit with the case, so I just removed it. I just put the controller and I put the deck saver and it fits perfectly. And then I brought my Shure QLXD receiver, microphone, this guy right here with the gooseneck so I can hold my iPad so that way I'm hands-free, can look at my notes. And then I have an extra microphone. I brought a paintbrush to clean things up. I also brought a small Yamaha mixer in case I need to plug into anything else. And I brought this power strip with me here that I can put inside a bag that carries some of my cables. So this is what I traveled in my carry-on. In my check-in, I just put all my clothes and personal belongings, but I really wanted to take good care of my electronics, so that's why I brought it in with me as a carry-on. So I'm about to roll on with this, but I also have my backpack from Jetpack Bags right here. So this is the Slim and I'm able to fit in a lot of things here. So this is my backup laptop. I brought two laptops. I brought in some notes right here. I brought in my iPad, has my other notes. And then here, what's really cool about this bag is that it opens up like a clamshell. So it's, you can really see everything that's inside here. And I really like the orange color, so that way the items in here stand out. So I have my business cards, my sunglasses. This one connects to two. USB-C ports, and then there's multi-outlets or multi-ports right here, so I could connect all my devices. An extra portable travel backpack. I also have another power strip block, which is really nice from Anchor. Some personal belongings here, and then I have a backup power supply for my other MacBook. This is my Wi-Fi hotspot, a little case for all my small cables. And then in this right here, I have my backup hard drive of music. So before I, I left my house, I made sure that I backed up my backup. So I have my main, which is not this one, it's somewhere over there. This is my backup, 
and then I have a backup at home. This is my headphones from Ultimate Ears, my custom in-ears, an extra pair of headphones in case. I also brought my Insta360 right here so I can capture more footage, an iPod with some backup music in case right here. And that's pretty much it. I like how slim it is. And this is a little pouch where I keep my solid state drive for my music. Yeah, so I have a wired microphone, I forgot to mention, and a wireless microphone over there. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are and your comments uh, down below about this setup right here, or my gear. I try to travel light, try to carry whatever I can with me. It's gonna be essential in order for me to DJ. Now, besides the gear, I also had to prepare in terms of my music, making sure I get all the names right, and just taking some notes on the speeches, introductions, rehearsing the grand entrance, and just really visualizing the flow of how the wedding will be in my head, just making sure that I'm all set, ready to go. I'm trying to think of all the little things that I would need. I just want to make sure that I have all my bases covered. And that's why it's really important to just really prepare. I think a lot of the, the wedding is just the preparation process and make sure that you're all good to go. So that way, when you show up, you already know what to expect. And also want to give yourself plenty of time arriving at the venue and just making sure that I'm testing out everything. The other thing I've done in my Serato crates was just going over the music, making sure I have the right edits, making sure I have the right cue points, loading up any special effects, any uh, background for the speeches, little things really. And just trying to think of how we can make the production of the event really fun and exciting for everybody. So I have some things up my sleeve and I'm really excited to to really perform for Jay and Mary. So I'm going to head on out right now. I'm going to meet up with Darren and just plug in my controller, get situated, and then I'll do my best to record some more video for you guys. I also wanna give a shout out to Jetpack Backpacks right here. Check this out right now. So this is my backpack and it's resting on top of my carry-on. And what's really cool feature about this is that this has a little opening right here which can slide through the handle and that way it can just rest safely and secure on top of my carry-on. makes it so much easier, and that way I don't have to carry this behind my back. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. So it's time to go. I'll see you at the venue. Here we are at Eastland Farm in Virginia. Behind me is the reception site. We have the cocktail hour down below. Reception with a dinner and dancing up the stairs on the second floor. And then across the street, we have the ceremony. And I'll show you what that looks like around as well. By the way, we got Darren right here. Woo, man of the day. He's helping me out here today, working hard. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Yeah, same here. In the meantime, while we're here, let me show you the setup, what we have going on upstairs. It's really nice. Follow me. Over here, this is the DJ setup. I'm very impressed, Darren. Great job with all this. So the moment I walked in, this is already here. He arrived here early. There are stairs, no elevators, so you have to manually carry everything up here. But this is this is really cool. We got some trusses. We got some moving heads right here, rocking with the EV Evol 50s, and we also have sound switch cooked up, so that way I can do a light show for them as well. This is a really clean setup. All thanks to Darren. So here we are, this is the ceremony side. We're all set up, ready to go. We did a sound check and all, but right now I'm going to share with you what we have going on. So right here, we have this nice little stand. As you can see, there's no cables around here. It's all wireless, transmitting this sound booth that we have going on here to the, the Bose S1 over there. So we are using this Yamaha mixer. My iPod is connected to the second channel right here, playing some music. And we are transmitting through the stereo out right here, through a quarter inch into the Shear QLXD transmitter right here. And that's being sent over to the receiver box on the Bose S1. So it's all battery powered from the transmitter. What's powering the Yamaha mixer is this a little power box right here from Colorado Sound and Light. We have a power strip right here in case we need to plug anything in, but as you can see, nothing's plugged in. And this is the Shure QLXD microphone that we're using. And we have a mic stand up in front for the efficient. And we did a sound check. It sounds really good. You can hear the music with clarity and also with the microphone. Everything sounds really good. <laughs> Kiss the bride. 
So I'm here with Darren right now. We are all ready to go and he hooked up Sound Switch and he knows that I love Sound Switch and he has Sound Switch. He actually uses his own MIDI controller. So you don't necessarily need the MIDI controller that I have, the Akai APC Mini or the Control One. You just need a MIDI controller really. But he designed his MIDI controller in a way so that way it's easy for him to know which buttons does what. So I'm gonna give this microphone over to Darren and he's gonna share with you how he's really running this sound switch board. And for the sound switch, I used the uh, for MIDI control, I used the Reloop Mix Tour. And then what I did, I just assigned each button for each one and I just labeled it either dance, upbeat, hip hop. So if you look now, it, it's on slow. So I just kind of made it where it's on the dance floor uh, going slow. And if I want to add it to uh, upbeat, I just push upbeat and it just switches automatically. So what I'm using is, is auto loops that's already uh, stored in uh, sound switch. And all I did was added my positions and my uh, attribute points. And then that's the, the attributes of your, um, the gobos, and the positions is where my moving heads are, are moving. So going along as far as like uh, the MIDI, I did my strobe. So if you click on the strobe, it's gonna strobe. For the strobe rate, I just added that to the knob and then the strobe rate is either faster or slower. So I did that, you can turn it off. I did the all white. So all white and then all white strobe. Added the blackout, boom, so we don't need it, everything's off. So for the slow dance, it went uh, all around the dance floor, but for the bride and groom dance, I had a, a button made, and what that does is identify right there, the bride and groom is stand right in the middle, and it's gonna be on them, it's not gonna move, it's gonna, gonna stay there. Static loops, white, it's just gonna be up in the thing. All the static loops are gonna be up in the ceiling, so it's red, so you have the, uh, the moving heads, static, and you have my uh, color band static as well. So each color, you have the red, teal, and then pink. When uh, they do speeches, I don't want to blind them. So what I did is uh, click the speech one, which is just going to light that the ceiling and then the color band went off so it's not blinded. But for the speech, what I added too is uh, the, the up lights. So the up lights going to be uh, white as well. So it, it'll bright up the room so they can see they won't be blinded. Another thing is that with the auto loop intensity, uh, the brightness, it just controls how bright it goes. And that's about it. So there you have it. Thank you so much, Darren. This is such a cool setup and he did a great job setting this up for me. Everything went smoothly from the ceremony to the cocktail hour to the reception and he's been such a great help. Shout out to Darren, Stressless Entertainment. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts about this whole setup. I know there's a lot to cover here today. I'll do my best to capture um, other highlights and some more behind the scenes. And I'll do my best to capture that so that way you guys know how to set this up yourself as well. But anyways, we're gonna continue just preparing and making sure we have everything in order but thank you so much darren thank you thanks we are ready to go we're about to welcome guests in i have a good playlist of just songs as people come in nothing too slow nothing too fast but just to keep the energy flowing and grooving so i'm about to play some music right now as guests come in hey, i think everybody clap those hands up high right now like this clap 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 keep clapping those hands Show some love for the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Bowie!
we are all done here for Mary and Jay's wedding. This was such a fun time, and this guy is a party animal. We got Mark right here, bro. It was super fun. We just like had a lot of good vibes, and that's what's up. Let's go! And right over here, I have one of my close friends, Bea. She's the one who referred me to Jay and Mary. You want to say something to Mary? Congratulations, Jay and Mary. Love you, Thai and Thai. Woo! So there you have it. That was Mary and Jay's wedding at Eastland Farm in Virginia. It's been such a wonderful experience traveling all the way there to DJ and host a big wedding day. Thank you so much, Mary and Jay, for having me as your DJ. Also want to give a quick shout out to Darren once again for setting up everything for me, made the whole process easy as a traveling DJ. It was such a great time. I even received some compliments from the wedding night and from the guests. And at the end of this video, stay around because there is a little testimonial that the couple have given me I want to share that with you so I hope all of you enjoy that video that's what it's like to travel as a DJ and if there's anything else that I've missed or anything else that you would want to see in future videos let me know down in the comments below so I can help you out whether you're a DJ and if you are an engaged couple I'm available to travel for your wedding day just know that love has no bounds let's have a conversation and we can talk more about about it. Anyways, I'm DJ Mojo, saving the city one party at a time. Once again, stay around till the end for the little testimonial that the couple has given me. And if there's anything else I can do to help you out in the future, let me know. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you again in another one of my videos. Take care and I'll see you next time.